Hi, I'm Rob Word at the O'Farrell Hat Company in Santa Fe, New Mexico with Scott Farrell talking about what makes a great cowboy hat. Hello. So, Scott, what does make a great cowboy hat? A uh, good cowboy. <laughs> uh, well, beaver. Beaver's always been the best to the felt, so the more beaver in the hat, the better the, the, better the hat. So. There's a lot of different styles I see here in your shop. What, uh, what, what do they take on a specific meaning? For location? Uh, well, times have changed, so it used to be uh, definitely more evident. You know, you could tell the position a guy held on a ranch just by what style of hat he wore, but these days people travel, they take their favorite things with them, so it's a different style of a hat like you. That's a pretty unique, classic hat. Looks Doesn't look good on most people, but works great for you. That, you know, I know nice. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I met your dad in Colorado great. at one of the uh, film festivals that Dobie mm -hmm. Carey put on and he used this strange style equipment to measure my head. What is that? Uh, that's a French invention called the conformator. I call it a conformer, but a uh, timeless piece, you know, invented in the 1850s. It's the only way to fly. It takes your head shapes so when the hat's made for you. It fits you comfortably, and when you're galloping across off into the sunset, your hat will stay on because of it. Well, I know that the B-Westerns in the 30s and 40s, uh, the cowboy stars, all had their own unique crease to their hats. Mm -hmm. They were very popular, but I think today the Gus style hat from Robert Duvall and Lonesome Dove is uh, one of the most popular styles. Yes, it's a, I mean, it's old style hat. It's been around for a long time. Thank goodness for Gus. I mean, it's definitely more popular these days, but uh, good looking hat. You love Westerns, you love Western hats. What's your favorite Western? Uh, Tombstone, uh, uh, just so many great lines in that movie, but uh, if there's a Western on TV, that's my favorite. <laughs> How long have you been in Santa Fe? I've been here about nine years. My dad moved down here from Durango uh, 95, so 20 years here. Your shop here is a wonderful location here in Santa Fe. How did you find this spot? Uh, I'd love to tell you it was, you know, years of planning, and uh, but probably dumb luck was 96% uh, <laughs> of it. So, yeah, great location. Santa Fe's an awesome place. The history, the Western history, all kinds of history. So, And steaming a hat. What's the trick to doing a good job steaming a hat? Well, uh, we've got a talented crew here, so... Uh, uh, our crew's been, you know, most of them been in the business for 20 years, at least 30 years, some of them, so experience. Thanks for joining us today on A Word on Westerns.